Melvin, I'd like to take this opportunity to ask you a personal question. In the hotel parking lot when I first met you, the picture you had on your dashboard happened to catch my eye. Was that your wife? Oh, her? Yeah, and that's my lady, all right, Candy. Her name's Candy, the prettiest girl in town, which makes me the happiest boy. A shooting star landed in a rural town, right on top of a man who- You always keep her photo with you? <sighs> you bet I do. Candy's a little sick right now. She can't even leave the house no more. So I always keep her photograph with me. Kind of feels like we're always together, you know? I see. You care for your wife a great deal, but this means that... Yeah, that's right. My mama had me before she married Daddy. But it don't matter. He's still my real Daddy to me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thank you, CLG. And you're my pride and joy. Well, Zach, isn't this a heartwarming scene? But there's one thing I just can't get out of my mind. Don't you think that photograph looked a bit too old? Perhaps Candy is already... It might be a private matter, just... Here we are, Zach. The morgue. They stored the victim's body in a cold storage warehouse operated by her family. I'd love to shake the hand of whoever came up with that one. Hey, Agent York. Did you just come here to laugh at rural officers who are doing the best they can? We don't have any special facilities like you people. What else did you expect us to do, huh? Don't compare us with city folk. This is Lacare. Or maybe you're just disappointed that you didn't get to see the bloated, decomposing corpse of a young girl. Sorry, you're right. I went a bit too far just now. But don't misunderstand, I honestly think it's a fantastic idea. I'd never try and bully your daddy. <laughs> Better not. Thank you for understanding. Zack, these are human footprints, and they're extremely large. Yes, Zack, I agree. These footprints must belong to someone who's used to walking around in cold temperatures. Boxes that got left behind. I can't tell what's inside. What do you think, Zack? I'm gonna go with... Okra. Yeah, Okra. I'm sure it must be Okra. That's a staple of the South. Zach, can you see that? Look closely. That's right. There are four imprints in the frost on the top of this. It's hard to believe, but I think these are fingerprints. Yes, Zach, that would lead one to believe that the body napper is a giant who's over 10 feet tall. An icicle. Never thought I'd see one of these down in the south. This frost is shaped like something we're very used to seeing. That's right. A body bag. Lisa's body must have been left here, but there are no signs that the bag was dragged away, so our criminal must possess monstrous strength. Seems like our flying serpent isn't here. Is this everything, Melvin? There aren't any other rooms in this warehouse? No special rooms. Well, there is the Luxury Foods Warehouse. Luxury Foods? Why didn't you say so earlier? <sighs> just thought you wanted to see where the body... Uh, I mean, I just thought you were only interested in warehouse number two. Besides, it's underground, so it's even colder than this. Uh, you sure you really want to go down there? You could darn well freeze to death. All life will come to an end in the 
Icebound Zone. <laughs> you feel me? Let's head there at once. I'm sure that must be where we're meant to go. But, but what about searching for Lisa's body? All we need to do is find a ten-foot-tall man with monstrous strength. That giant knows where she is. Ten-foot-tall? But finding the flying serpent is more important right now. Now please, guide me to the luxury foods warehouse at once. These luxury foods are most likely being used in local Cajun cuisine. I'm so excited to see what we'll find. Aren't you, Zach? <laughs>